Change channel on TV to 103. Okay. Change channel on TV to 101. Okay, switching to channel 101 on the TV. Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your Samsung TV to connect to both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. So, I've got my Android phone here. Let me go to the Play Store. And we want to search for Smart Things, and that's the app we're after. It's already installed, so let me click Open. So if you're opening this for the first time, you'll be asked to set up an account. So obviously, enter in your credentials, set up an account, and then you'll be presented with this screen. So next thing you need to do is click Plus, and you want to say you want to add a device, and we can search for the TV. So I've got a RU7400. If I click Search, and that's what appears. So it's the 50 inch model I've got, if I click on there. So it says, get started with your TV. Let's click Start. Okay, select a location and room for your TV. So this is fine what I've got. Let me click Next to that. Turn on your TV using the remote control. It's already on. Okay, and let's give it a moment. So it says it may take some time to connect TV to your phone. Please wait. So it's asking, allow smart things to record audio. Don't want that, so you can say deny. Check the pin shown on your TV, then enter it below. So there's a pin, as you can see, in the top right-hand corner of the TV. So let me enter that in next. Now that's entered in, let me click done, and done again. And there you go, it's saying TV is being registered to your Samsung account. And there you go, if you look on the screen, it says set up via the phone is complete. And next it's saying successfully connected, my home, living room TV, and it's got the TV name there. So you can rename it if you like. So I've only got one smart TV. So if I just call it TV, click done, and there you go, appears there. Now it's added, if I click on there, you can actually control it directly via your phone now. So if I click there, you can see the volume increasing. If I reduce it down, I can change the channel as well. And if I go down here, there you go, navigate via touch, excellent functionality on here. And if we go to close that, and that's it. You can even turn the TV off as well. So if I click there, so let's try turning it on to see if that works as well. There you go, so it turns on as well. So excellent functionality. So now it's set up with smart things. We can actually move on to doing it via Google Home. So if I go to the Home app and we go here in the corner, click Assistant Settings, Assistant, Home Control, and then click the plus here. So next, we want to search for Smart Things. So let me type that in. And there you go, it's here. So if I click there, and now what it will do, it'll ask for your credentials. So I've already previously entered them in. So it's cached those credentials, so it's saved on the system already. So once you've entered your credentials in, it'll ask to request to authorize Google to access your SmartThings account. So all we need to do is select from the box down here, select this, and click authorize. There you go, it's added in now. So if I go back and we scroll down here, and there you go, TV here in the corner. So if I click it, no other options available, obviously just the power button. If I click here in the corner, you can see it's linked up. Now, a couple of things to note, if I press it, turns off, which is fine, which is good, it works. And if I click it again, there you go, if you see at the bottom it says something went wrong. So it would seem you can't turn it on via the app on Google Home. So I'll use my remote and I'll just power it on. 
Now I should be able to say change channel on TV to 101. Okay, switching to channel 101 on the TV. Change channel on TV to 102. Okay, switching to channel 102 on the TV. Change volume on TV to 10. Mute volume on TV. Unmute volume on TV. Set volume on TV to zero. And there you go. Excellent functionality and how easy was that to set up? Next, let me show how to set this up on the Amazon Alexa. So if I go to the Alexa app here and we click in the corner and we go to skills and games and we search for smart things and that's the skill just there. So if I click enable to use Okay, so it's saying, oh. okay, so if we click enable to use, and there you go, it's now prompting to enter in my credentials for Samsung account. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my credentials, let me click sign in. Okay, so it's just given a warning that a new device is signed in with this account and we're presented with a similar dialogue we got with the Google Home. So if I now drop this box down here, click here, and then click authorize, and that'll give it permission to access the account. Okay, so it's successfully linked. Click on the cross here. Let it discover devices. Let's give it a moment. So it's saying five devices discovered. Let's click view. And TV is just at the bottom here. So if I click on there, you can see it's connected via the smart things skill. So now I should be able to say change channel on TV to 101. Change channel on TV to 103. Okay. Change volume on TV to 10. Okay. Mute volume on TV. Okay. Change volume on TV to 1. Okay. Turn off TV. Turn on TV. TV isn't responding. Turn on TV. Sorry, it looks like the TV isn't available right now. So there you go. So works really well with the Amazon Alexa as well. But the thing to note with both these devices, once you've turned the TV off, you can't turn it back on again, except if you use a remote. So I'll use a remote just to turn it on. But there you go. As simple as that to get set up and configured with both the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone trying to achieve what I've just shown. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.